how's it going JDM crew? Uh, we knew, uh, oh jeez. <laughs> well, how's it going JDM crew? Welcome back to another inventory episode. John here from JDM Expo. And if you're new to the channel, uh, we're going to be talking about this here, uh, really nice Supra. Now, don't get me wrong, it is automatic. Some of you guys are going to complain about it, but automatic Supras are still pretty nice. I mean, the uh, form factor, everything else, the placement, it's all good. Uh, and um, if you're interested in any other vehicles, check out our other videos. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for more content. And we'll be able to enjoy more rides just like this into the sunset. Well, it's late afternoon, but <laughs> you get what I mean. So, this here is the uh, good old 90s Supra here. Sorry, I'm just uh, paying attention here because the light was changing. So, just uh, looking out here, the road is wide open, which is a good sign for us. Oh no, there's some trucks. Well, I spoke too soon. And uh, yeah, this one being automatic. Hey, you still got the 2JZ, but this one is NA, so, I mean, um, for some folks, NA and <laughs> automatic is a deal breaker for some of y'all, but now, to be honest, if you're just looking for a nice, stylish vehicle, this genuine JDM, uh, this is fantastic. Surprisingly enough, this thing's only got 20,000 kilometers on the clock. As uh, far as I know, this is genuine. 21 331 it's been well maintained the previous owner uh, I'm not sure how many if it was one or two whoever it was took really good care of this because I mean even this dash is in impeccable condition the interior smells fine just like nothing wrong with this is great runs smooth too so but what's really great about these is just you still have the sporty feel of the Supra the feel like if you've ever driven a Supra or the uh, Fair Lady Z, the uh, 90s versions, so we're talking like Z32 and this JZA, uh, you know, 90. This, oh man, yeah. The placement for these is just really awesome. It's like you're you're in a fighter jet or something. You got all the gauge placement and like every all the controls are just where you need them to be. Um, this is definitely classic though, right here. Basically, it looks like I'm using a Super Nintendo for my navigation system. So as you can see here, we're on uh, the highway out here, just cruising along. It's updating about every 50 to 100 feet. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, it's telling me north is that way. So yeah, it's pretty accurate. It's doing what it do, but uh, yeah, the graphics. <laughs> uh, I believe this also has uh, some other goodies connected with it. Um, I'm not sure about the whole Navi system and uh, whatever other audio goodies it has though. But for the most part, uh, everything that we're looking at here is stock. Uh, so I'll be giving you the walk around here in just a few minutes. But uh, yeah, in general, the suspension's all OEM. Feels fine. Um, shocks have not been used a whole lot <laughs> since it's got pretty low mileage here. But yeah, very smooth. Um, the engine is fine, see, nice and responsive. I mean, as much response as you're going to get out of uh, stock automatic here. The interior is really great, though, by the way. Um, maybe here just a little bit of wear from, you know, moving around and shifting into gear or, you know, maybe like putting drinks or something. Uh, the brakes feel pretty good. And, uh, yeah, this interior, nice and clean top to bottom. So, I mean, uh, this is a T-top, by the way. Uh, it's a little chilly to remove this, but uh, keeping it on there. But yeah, in the warmer weather, if you want to take this off, you could just use a little hex key, open this up, boom, really awesome. And so it definitely pulls pretty hard there. And uh, nice and smooth through the RPM. I know it's NA and there's only so much that you're going to get out of it. But all in all, really nice. Alright, so we're here with the interior. And uh, as you can see this good old dash here. 
pretty uh, nice all around. Oh, and uh, let me show you this mileage here. If I can have your attention over here. There it is. Boom. And so, uh, yeah. As I mentioned, everything's pretty much original here. You can see this. Uh, this is the chair. So you can see pretty much this uh, fall leather, I believe. And vinyl. Very uh, 90s here. And we got this uh, headliner's pretty good. And this is the, uh, the T top. And it's removable. So there you go. You can unlock it and use a little hex key on the four corners there and uh, take it off. But it's a little chilly, so I'm leaving it on. <laughs> Alrighty, and of course we have this original steering wheel here and got uh, some other carpets there. Alright, I'm going to put this uh, plastic back. Keep everything fresh. And by the way, this is a motorized seat, so still works very nice and uh, I think you can even raise like the front or middle part here using that so very comfortable and uh, you can set it up however you like you can raise and lower it a little bit for uh, your visibility and comfort so yeah we got uh, the door panels are looking good here and again the rear here yeah, so the rear seats, obviously, not a whole lot of room. You can squeeze in for full-size adults, but not exactly the most comfortable. But for two adults in the front, really good. And uh, if your kids like sports cars, you can definitely have them sit in the back. No troubles there. And so, pop the trunk so we can have a quick look over there. You can kind of see it's got the... A little rollout uh, cover there, and uh, you have the good old Supra wing that everybody knows and loves. And so, yes, this is attached by the way, this way, so it will uh, hold up and retract uh, whenever you raise and lower the trunk here. And uh, by the way, so these mounts. In the corners here, these are for the T-top, so if you take it off in the summertime, just put it right there, holds in place nicely. And, uh, trunk light. And I'm just trying to get to the tools here and the trusty spare tire. Yeah. Here we go. All nice and fresh. Not used either, so everything's looking good. And you can kind of see in the trunk space here the uh, very fresh chassis, so everything's been kept in really pristine condition. And I don't use that word lightly because, I mean, this thing is really low mileage. And uh, yeah, even this carpet just. I mean, you could tell it's old, but then it just doesn't feel very old, you know, not worn and everything from groceries being thrown in there or parts and whatever. Oh, it even shuts pretty nicely. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, let's have this little walk around here that I've been promising you. <laughs> so, you can see the uh, paint's looking fantastic on here. Really fresh. This shine is glorious. Got that old OEM exhaust. So, I mean, even that's original on here. Original wheels there, so you can see with the Toyota symbol in the middle. I believe these are these 17s or 16s? 17, yep. So, you got 255s here in the back, and I think they're 235s in the front. Let me double check. These are hand cooked tires. Ventus. Yeah, we got 235s up here, but you can see the OEM Supra rotors and calipers there. So, I mean, they grab plenty fine, uh, 
personally I'd probably up the pads a little bit or change out the rotors but if you're just cruising around yeah these are perfectly fine yeah because the rotors are a little bit on the larger side which does help on your stopping power which is nice so those of you guys that like speed you can also slow down just as fast so that's pretty important and look at that all right we'll have a look in the engine bay here and as you can see not turbo <laughs> the um yeah battery is actually kind of fresh there looks like auto box quality so those of you guys that know about JDM Auto Parts, Auto Box is the go-to place for a lot of people. It's kind of like AutoZone or O'Reilly in the States, so really good. There you go. NA2JZ. Um, hopefully it doesn't hurt too many feelings. I mean, uh, it's still a respectable motor, guys. Uh, I mean, I certainly have no qualms about any 2 jz Here's some info for you guys. Curious about more about this car? As you can see, definitely OEM everything. I mean, we don't even have a strut bar on here. So uh, we do have the stock airbox. You can see we have the uh, ignition coil here, distributor, all that good stuff for all six cylinders. And the belts aren't even cracked, so they, they've uh, definitely kept up on the maintenance, so that's nice. <laughs> it's the little things, guys. It really counts. So overall, as you can see, really nice. And so yeah, for the NA2JZ filter, intake, or there's the throttle, intake plenum, you know, it goes over. So uh, if we had a turbo, I know it would be uh, looking a lot different. And uh, I highly recommend you guys check out our other super videos if you're curious about that. But yeah, this NA1, she's looking good, runs good. But just look at that. Yeah, even with that OEM front lip. Well, as you can see guys, fabulous Supra here. You know, just, you guys know we've had a lot of Supras, um, but definitely very few have been this low in mileage. So um, you can definitely check with our sales team. Email us, info at jdm-expo.com. They'll be able to let you know more details about this. Um, if you have any questions about any other vehicles, check out our other um, videos here for uh, the inventory. And uh, if you have any questions, also direct those to our sales team. And if you have any uh, other questions and you want some quicker response, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all those DMs will go to our sales team. So within about 24 hours, email or any of those DMs should be answered by them. And uh, they can tell you a little bit more about the process if you're looking for some more information. And uh, yeah, maybe you guys take one of these beautiful Supras home. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with the uh, mileage and just great running condition. And uh, even with the low mileage, they maintained it. So uh, yeah. Definitely great. It's a little bit chilly out here, guys, so I'm going to be heading back to the office. I'm going to be putting her away, and uh, she'll be uh, waiting for a new home. So definitely contact our sales team, guys. And as always, subscribe for more content. You know, appreciate you guys for uh, stopping by, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.